Oh. Ladies, will you please oh. shut it? Listen to me. Yes, I lied to you. No, I don't love you. Of course it makes you look fat. I've never been to Brussels. It is pronounced egregious. By the way, no, I've never actually met Pizarro, but I love his pies. And all of this pales to utter insignificance in light of the fact that my ship is once again gone. Savvy? <coughs> Well, I think if you, if you look at Pirates 1 and you saw the surprises that we gave you and how it snuck up on audiences and entertained them from 8 to 80, we found the same thing in the second. New characters, interesting visual effects, great, great drama, and humor, of course, and it comes full circle in the third movie. Welcome to Singapore. There is a really fantastic story that, you know, continues to grow and build. The scale of it is huge. I can safely say big is the right word. <laughs> Each character in this has a mission. Will wants to save his father from Davy Jones, or Elizabeth would like to be with Will. And Jack, of course, they're all trying to find Captain Jack. Jack Sparrow, you pay me a great insult. That doesn't sound like me. It seems nothing is unsurmountable in this movie, and, and, and they keep trying to stretch the boundaries and limits of, of what's even possible to do. Uh, we have a, you know, a great scene in 3 where you have the, the pirate ships and the water and the, the forces of nature all combine into one enormous battle. It becomes one of the most spectacular sequences I've ever been involved in. Nothing they could ask would surprise me anymore. You know. You're mad. Thank goodness for that, because if I wasn't, this would probably never work. Johnny, we're going to put you in a cannon and vault you out to sea. You okay with that? Sure. Let's do it.